I started with the Boys and Girls Club um, in 1990, February to be exact, 1990. And prior to being hired with Boys and Girls Clubs, I had been volunteering for years as a teenager. So I've known Tina Sanders since I was about 16 or 17 years old. Well, in 2003, my husband and I, uh, Gladstone Sanders, uh, wanted to make a difference in the communities. Uh, we started on the west side, but eventually moved, up, moved all of our services to the south side of Chicago. Uh, we've been in the Roseland West Pullman area for over uh, 15 years. Uh, there is a need in our community uh, for some of our community residents to upgrade their skills, uh, there is a need for them to know that there are people here at Felix Family Services that are waiting to help them, uh, help them change their lives. It was actually prior to 1990. I started working there in 1990. She had been there for quite a few years before I actually started. And um, when, well, when she started, I believe she was a club director at the Henry Horner Boys and Girls Clubs. From there, she became, well, they had a, quite a few different terms, but she was like a site director for um, clusters of boys and girls clubs. And from there, she then became vice president of Boys and Girls Clubs of Chicago. We had a vision, we had a dream. Uh, we wanted to provide wraparound services to people, for underprivileged people who lived in the various uh, communities. I started with Phalanx in 2009. I initially started as a volunteer, but uh, now I'm involved with several different projects. Actually, what happened was they had transitioned from Boys and Girls Club to Phalanx Family Services, and I came over with the transition. It started in July, but I uh, had another job previous to this, and I just started in August. Um, I want to say when we transitioned from Boys and Girls Clubs of Chicago to Phalanx Family Services, unfortunately everyone was not fortunate enough to do that. But over the years, because of Tina's value, being so valued in the social services, every opportunity there has been to obtain another grant, to hire more staff, she and Mrs. Bailey continue to do that. In a minute, we're going to run out of space. Um, but we started off, I want to say, with maybe, maybe 12 people at best. And now I believe we may be up to 40, if not more, right now. So again, she, she's really good in, you know, ensuring that young African-American um, staff, you know, keep a job. Again, if, if one grant is lost, she's really good at finding another grant and finding funds to ensure that we keep a job. Well, we actually began in, on the west side uh, in North Lawndale in 2003. I came aboard two years later in 2005, actually as a client receiving services. Um, and over the years, 17 years has been, I have had about six or seven jobs in 17 years, and my main position was teaching job readiness. Right now, my position is working in marketing, and so I help the organization with you know all of its visuals, flyers, postcards, and so on. And um, I'm working in an environment with about 40 different employees. When we start, when I started here, we only had about nine, uh, but now we have about 40 different employees who are facilitating all kinds of programs for youth, adults re-entry, senior citizens, the disabled, um, you name it. We help with training, education, employment, job readiness, uh, paying bills, and so if there's people in the community who need help of any sort, ideally, typically, we have something for you. At the beginning, it was quite hectic. Uh, again, I was a volunteer. Phalanx was doing something called Put Illinois to Work, where the company hired several hundred young people throughout the city of Chicago. And part of my responsibility was to put those people's um, information into the quote unquote, put um, Illinois to work database. So I did that and it was quite hectic. 
Uh, we did uh, payroll for those folks as well as ensured that they were able to get job sites. The, well, I, um, I used to work with the Department of Aging and um, I just wanted to change. You know, I was helping the seniors and everything, but I was going out in the field a lot and I wanted to try to kind of maintain a substance, a stability inside of our office. So when I was a client, I remember uh, the Earn Fair program, uh, which was for individuals who uh, received a link card and had no dependents. And um, we used to come in once a month to see our case managers. And uh, we, there were three case managers in that program. Um, at that time, Ms. Cannon, Ms. Peavy, and Ms. Lennon. And all the clients would come in at the, on the same day at the same time. And we would sit in a big, hot room in the middle of summertime, no air conditioning, broken fan, and we'd have to wait hours to see our case managers because it was just, there were just so many of us. And, uh, but then we'd get our bus pass, our, our timesheet, and our schedule, and we didn't have to come back in for another month. And so, you know, there was, the upside was you only have to come in once a month. The downside was, you know, it was so many long waits. But um, that's something that really stands out in my memory about the, about the program then. Um, but also just the willingness of the staff to really help people. Um, and I just really appreciated that about the organization. They really helped me, and I mean, I guess the rest is history. I was actually a client, and then I became full-time, so I needed a job, and this was the perfect opportunity for me, and I was able to stand up to the plate and as a client, and then they saw fit to bring me on. My experience has been great, especially working with youth, the inner city youth. I've never worked within the city of Chicago because I'm from uh, out of state. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. And so coming inside, coming to Chicago and working with youth in uh, Chicago has been an eye opener, <laughs> to say the least. But it's been, it's been enjoyable. That's why I'm still here. Oh man, since I've been here at Failings Family Services, it's, it's been a, an awesome journey. I've uh, grown as a as an employee. Um, my skill set has grown. I've learned from millions, of, well I said millions, but from the great women that work here um, with strong minds. And um, yeah, it's, it's been a great journey. My experience here at Failings Family Services they have a motto that says that uh, we we uh, work and we strive for the same goals. Because failing stands for an army of people striving for the same goal. And in my years here, when we all come as one, we do more in the community than than, than I've witnessed in a long time. One of I believe my strong suits um, are is organization um, and providing resources. Um, and so this gives me an opportunity to do just that, is provide resources to our community, provide resources to um, individuals that simply may not know what's out here and what's available. And so they feel like they're in a place where this is all that I have and this is all that I'll be. And I am convinced that once individuals are exposed to more and see the resources that are available, that they can really expand and they can grow. Um, and so I feel that it's a mission um, for our people to just let them know you can go to school um, and financial barriers um, don't have to be a stumbling block, that there are dollars that are available to you so that you can go to school. And, um, and for our adults around job training and vocational training, um, oftentimes you know, our community, they're not growing because they feel that there are financial barriers that they cannot overcome. And so our resources really meet that barrier. They come into our doors and when they find out that there is no cost to them for any of the services, whether it's training, whether it's education, when they find that there is no cost, there's a sense of relief that I can get the training that's needed to gain a career and I'm not um, financially strapped. Um, in order to, to get what I feel like I need to, to really to grow. It's been great. Uh, it's my first time working for a black owned employer. I just love the fact that people support one another here. We use a collaborative effort to uplift the community. I really enjoy the community events that we have. It seems like we always have something every month to bring the community out to Failings, whether it's in the parking lot or inside to do giveaways, hiring events, or anything related to health. 
I enjoy just working with people who are passionate about helping the community, and pretty much everybody gets along. It seriously is like a family. Um, I would say it's like a, a family. It's like a close-knit family. Um, since I came here, um, it was just so welcoming. Everybody was just so welcoming. Um, I don't think there's anything additional. Phalanx is a very extremely busy place. Uh, we are, and I say we because I feel part of the Phalanx team. We are doing a lot of things for the community. Um, part of what I think is, is good about Phalanx is that we do a lot of advertising so that people who live in the city of Chicago and especially in the community that we reside in are able to get the services that are available to them. Well, let me say I, I love what I do. 